make, have you make an opening statement about the game, and then we'll go ahead and open up some questions. Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, it's tough to lose a game like that. Uh, we feel like we had an opportunity to win it, and you know, sometimes they don't go your way. Really proud of our guys. Thought Jacob gave us a fantastic start. Uh, thought all our guys threw the ball well. Our guys didn't run from the moment; they ran to it. And uh, yeah, it's tough. It's unfortunate when you lose games like that. Thanks, coach. Just take questions for the student athletes first. If you have one, just raise your hand. I'll get you. Let's start with Michael right in the middle there. Jacob. Pretty strong the first four innings, no hits. One, one big turner. What, what were you feeling out there? I was feeling amazing. I mean, we live for these moments to come out here and compete against teams like like Alabama. I mean, it was a great opportunity to come out here and play and pitch against them. I thought I had everything working at the jump. I thought I could compete with anybody in the box. Other questions for either student athlete? Go ahead, Drew, right in front. Uh, Wes, uh, I was going to ask you, what, what did you see on the home run? Uh, did you have a good day today? Yeah, um, seeing the ball pretty well today. Uh, for the home run, just two strike compete mode. Didn't want to let those guys in that dugout down, so just choked up on the bat and went compete mode. Anything else for you, student athlete? All right, go ahead, Drew. Last uh, question. And, uh, Matt, yeah, I, Mayors, I just wanted to ask you. I mean, I, I heard about your story this morning. I talked to a fellow uh, a Cajun guy who oh, pitched at Alabama Lance Corman. He had kind of learned your story, and I know you were cut in high school and you kind of developed. But talk about the freshman year as a whole and pitching in this kind of environment and the way you compete. I mean, this is amazing. It's what we live for. I mean, coming in here as a freshman and having a big role is, is a great opportunity. I think I play for my teammates and I want to win for them too. So. Wes, Jacob, you guys are good to go. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we'll go ahead and take questions uh, for Coach Silva at this time. Just raise your hand, we'll call on you. Go ahead, Drew, start us off. Coach, I wanted to ask you, that was a high level college baseball game. With you guys, I thought, uh, put some SEC level arms out there. Just talk about how your kids competed and what you thought the keys to the game was. Yeah, I mean, I thought our guys competed at a really high level. That's that's kind of that's what they always do. They, they they love to compete, and they're not intimidated by these moments or these environments. We talk about them a lot, and we prepare for them. And, uh, you know, the keys to the game, obviously, just, I mean, they got a big hit at the end of the game. I mean, we both had opportunities early, and kind of both ran some balls out of the yard. They're a really good baseball team. And I talked to our guys a lot about when you play in these environments and in this situation, we talked about it in the conference tournament, and we talked about it in uh, in the regular season. We were chasing the championship. It's not going to change the way I feel about my team. I mean, whether we won or lost this game, these guys, they give me everything they have every single day. Uh, I know what this program was um, 18 months ago. It wasn't – It wasn't. I don't think a lot of people thought we'd be here. Uh, but, you know, the guys in that locker room did. And so I just hurt for them, you know. Right now in these moments, you hurt for those guys. But, I mean, I'm really proud of where we're at. That's for sure. You guys have beat LSU on the road, so obviously, even though this is a great environment here, they were not intimidated, didn't look like at all. No, we we had fun, played hard, played for each other. We really felt like uh, if we played well, we'd have an opportunity tonight, and we, and we did. It just you know didn't go our way. You know, a, a couple a week ago, we won in 14 innings on a ball that went up the middle, kind of like that. It just it's part of baseball. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. I thought we played really well tonight. I wasn't disappointed with how anybody pitched or anybody swung the bat. They had high level arms over there. I mean, obviously, they're a one seed in the regional for a reason. Um, I mean, just hats off to those guys. They have a fantastic baseball team. They fought through a lot of adversity. They're a heck of a story this year as well. Stay on the front row on the right side, James. Coach, just with Jacob, just the way you're dealing, you know, you're getting to the fifth and sixth inning. I know it's you certainly hit that 100 pitch mark. Just what was your thought process taking him out of the sixth? Was he just kind of using that velocity that he's having in the first couple innings? Yeah, I mean, you guys saw it. He, 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 was, he, was, he, was, he was elevated in the zone. Uh, he was pushing 100 pitches. I'm not going to leave him out there to dry. He's carried us all year. And the bigger the moment, the better he's been. And we thought he's out of gas at that point. You know, he's spraying it. The bases were loaded. We couldn't afford another walk right there. And then we had a right-hander that we thought, you know, if you look at Gavin's numbers, they're fantastic, especially against right-handers. And, uh, you know, they got a couple big hits against him, but he got the big out to get us back in the dugout. And then we're trying to piece it together down the stretch. Let's finish up right side, Joe. Coach, with the uh, rain delay and, and, and the short turnaround tomorrow, how would you uh, manage, manage your team with uh, Boston College tomorrow in the middle of the afternoon? Well, I think we're up for another great challenge, right? I mean, that's a really good team, so I don't think it's going to get any easier. But same way we did today, and we're going to get out of here, get something to eat, and uh, that we have food for them, and, and get some rest, and wake up tomorrow morning, and uh, it's a new day. That's why I just told them out there. It's postseason baseball now. I just survive in advance. We just want to keep playing. So find a way tomorrow. I don't know who we're starting yet. We'll figure that out here in about an hour, and then uh, and then we'll move into tomorrow. But really simple. I mean, I, I handle the – I'm kind of the same when we win or lose. 
when we played the way we played tonight. I thought our effort was phenomenal, and just it was it was an unfortunate outcome for us. All right, thank you, Coach. Yep, thank you. All.